guys, welcome back to my channel, Carolyn. This is Carolina, and today's video is going to be all about hormones. This is probably one of the most requested topics, along with voice training, that I received from the questionnaire that I posted on my Facebook page months, months ago. So, if you guys want to learn more about everything that I know about hormones, please stay tuned. As a transgender woman, my levels before were not the same as that of any other woman. So what I did was I went through a hormone replacement therapy where they brought my estrogen up and they brought my testosterone down so that I could have the same effects and the same sort of changes in my body and in my physiology as that of any other woman. So. That's basically what HRT is about, just leveling out your hormones so they match your true gender identity. Okay, the first hormone that I'm going to tell you guys about is called spirolactone. Spirolactone is a tea blocker which will bring your testosterone level down by blocking this testosterone from going into your body and making more changes to your body. Um, there are some changes that can be a little reversible, such as body hair is definitely going to not grow as much as it used to. It's not going to be as thick as it used to be, but it's not going to stop from growing completely. Especially if you already have facial hair growing all over your face, unfortunately, spirolactin will not stop that hair from growing in your face, and for that, you will have to get either laser or electrolysis. Okay, now let's talk about dosages. Right now I have this bottle of 100 milligrams per tablet. Usually people start off at maybe 50 milligrams, then usually move up to 100 milligrams, and then they end up at 200 milligrams. I, from all the research I've done, don't think anyone is supposed to go higher than 200 milligrams. Now I want to talk about some of the side effects of spirolactones. Obviously there are good side effects and they can be also negative side effects. Let's talk about the good first. One, like I said before, is body hair is going to stop a lot. Obviously um, facial hair is going to also reduce a lot. Another good side effect of spirolactone is that it's going to help you make your body not as muscular. So you will see how your body is going to soften up a lot, your muscles are going to go down in size, and it's just going to overall feminize your figure, feminize your face, and just give you an overall feminine look. Now let's talk about the negative. And for the negative, I'm going to talk about my personal experience. One being the cravings. I started craving a lot, a lot of salty stuff. And when I say salty, I mean like really, really salty. Like I was actually doing these little mixes of salt and vinegar and drinking them because I just needed that salt in my in my mouth. In my, it was just like this really, really bad craving. And I think a lot of people experience this and they don't know that this could be contributed by the hormones that they're taking. Let's move on to the next hormone and that's estrogen. Estrogen is a girl's best friend when it comes to hormone replacement therapy. As you guys know, estrogen is known as the female hormone. I have here a bottle of estrogen pills which can also come in injections, patches and creams. I personally prefer pills. <coughs> I'm comfortable with pills. I only take them twice a day. Right now this bottle is two milligrams and that's one pill, two milligrams each. Right now I'm taking six milligrams of estrogen, but it definitely started a lot lower. If you're starting on your hormone replacement therapy, you should know that you will be starting at a lower dosage. And then as you move along with your transition, and your doctor is able to oversee all the changes and how you're doing with the hormones, then you're slowly going to build up. Um, 
estrogen is definitely one of those pills you want to be really really careful with because if you take too much of it you can have really bad side effects um, and if you don't take it enough and you're also taking spirolactone you can also have some bad side effects some of the positive side effects of estrogen are your breasts which are definitely going to grow on estrogen now the size might vary depending on your genes how old you are the dosages that you're taking how long you've been taking the hormone for there's lots and lots of factors so I'm not gonna say you're gonna get this much growth or this much it really can vary depending on all these factors that I just mentioned before another positive effect of estrogen is your skin and I think this is probably one of the most um, how can I say this I think it's one of the most rewarding side effects of estrogen because as you guys know your skin is the largest organ in your body so you're gonna notice it everywhere you're gonna notice it in your arms in your face your legs your entire body is just gonna feel a lot softer a lot smoother now I've been kind of focusing only on the physical changes of course there's a lot of emotional changes that can happen on hormones kind of going back to spirolactone because you are bringing your testosterone down you're not gonna feel that rush of energy that I think testosterone might give your body but you're gonna replace it with a different type of energy and in this case estrogen is gonna give you that energy that might come in mood swings you might feel sometimes really really happy sometimes you might feel really sad so emotionally speaking you might go through a little bit of an emotional roller coaster but it's totally normal okay moving on to the last hormone of your HRT cocktail as I call it is medroxyprogesterone and this one is at 10 milligrams per tablet now the thing about medroxyprogesterone is that not everyone uses this during their HRT um, this is something that it's a little bit of a controversy because there are studies saying that medroxyprogesterone which is a hormone found in most women when they're either pregnant or during their period um, say that if as a transgender woman you take medroxyprogesterone you might have a better development of your breasts that it might prevent breast cancer, that it might help with the absorption of estrogen in your body. But I have done research on the side saying that metroxyprogesterone really doesn't do anything for you and it could even increase your chances of having breast cancer, etc. etc. I'm going what my doctor is telling me and what some of the research that I've done is telling me but you know that's why I kind of want to get this topic out in the open for discussion because I think it's important that more and more people are aware of this HRT treatment for transgender people because it, I think it's important that people are paying more attention to this you know and doing more research and you know we need doctors and we need medicine to take this more serious and really figure out what's good for us okay guys this is it for today's video if you guys have any questions please make sure to put them on the comments thank you guys for watching and until next time i'll talk to you soon ciao ciao